John Rothschild, The Davis Dynasty, 50 Years of Successful Investing on Wall Street. Want to know how a man turned $50,000 into a whopping $900 million just by investing primarily in insurance stocks? Get ready for an inspiring journey through the life of the underrated investment wizard Shelby Davis. Prepare to learn the core values that led him to such immense success, frugality, creativity, and self-reliance. Get to know Davis's winning investment strategy that hinged on compounding, investing in growth companies, and true long-term investing. Brace yourself to uncover the reason why he never became a household name and yet managed to make it to the Forbes list of wealthiest Americans. Shelby Davis, from $50,000 to $900 million. Shelby Davis, a former government bureaucrat, Republican campaign advisor, and radio writer, turned his $50,000 investment portfolio into $900 million over 50 years. Davis invested mostly in insurance stocks and had no formal training in economics but had an indispensable trait of being congenitally optimistic. Even when the prices for U.S. insurance companies were high, he bought Japanese insurance stocks, which paid off tenfold, multiplying his original investment 18,000 times. Davis never became a household name, but his claim to fame had everything to do with guts and nothing to do with publicity. Forbes recognized him as one of the wealthiest Americans in 1988, and among the numerous investors, corporate raiders, media czars, retail giants, oil barons, and bankers, only Warren Buffet matched Davis's feat of picking stocks in other people's companies. The Life and Investment Strategies of Shelby Cullum Davis Shelby Cullum Davis, born in 1907, was an American stock picker who established himself in the industry with his distinctive investment strategies. Despite his privileged upbringing, his father instilled in him the values of hard work and self-sufficiency. After graduating from Princeton, Davis pursued a career in journalism, but eventually found his way to Wall Street. He specialized in insurance stocks, particularly smaller and more aggressive ones, and his approach paid off. As World War II erupted, Davis correctly predicted an industrial boom, which helped him to become a millionaire by 1954. Davis later married Catherine Wasserman and continued to travel to Europe for his work while she pursued research for the Council on Foreign Relations. Davis made a fortune in the stock market, despite the ups and downs of war and economic depression. The Maverick Investor Who Built a Billion Dollar Fortune Shelby Davis was a complex and unconventional character, known for his financial savvy, snobbery, and maverick approach to investing. He started his career by impressing his brother-in-law with his travels as a statistician and field man for Bill's investment firm, but eventually quit to focus on writing about economics. A chance appointment as a deputy superintendent of the state's insurance department introduced him to the industry that would make his fortune. Davis relied on three principles of compounding, investing in growth companies, and true long-term investing to build a portfolio of insurance stocks and become a billionaire. The Frugal Millionaire In the 1950s, life insurers flourished with their earnings growing up to four times while selling for 15 to 20 times earnings. This formula attracted Shelby Davis, who adopted a frugal lifestyle and never borrowed for personal use. Davis invested in small companies which were later acquired by larger ones during the post-war boom, making him a fortune. He also invested in Japanese insurance companies which earned him returns as they were aggressive and low-cost compounding machines. In 1969, he became the ambassador to Switzerland, leaving his growing investment business to his son Shelby. In 1987, during the stock crash, Davis took advantage of the opportunity to go on a buying spree. The following year, he made the Forbes list of richest Americans with his $427 million portfolio. By the year 1992, his grandson and son became prominent figures in the family business. Upon his death in 1994, Davis left nearly $900 million in trust for conservative causes. Today, his sons and grandson continue the family investment legacy. Wall Street Fortune Meet Shelby Davis, the least known yet second most successful investor of the 20th century, 
who turned $50,000 into $900 million almost entirely through buying and selling insurance stocks. Written by John Rothschild, this biography is an engaging read that reads like a novel. Discover how Davis relied on compounding interest, invested in growth companies, and had a long-term investing strategy. With principles that rival Warren Buffett, learn how Davis's sons and grandsons continue the family investment business and how his life can inspire all curious readers. As we have journeyed through the life of Shelby Davis, we have seen how a former radio writer, Republican campaign advisor, and New York State Insurance Department bureaucrat managed to turn a $50,000 investment into a staggering $900 million fortune. His focus on insurance stocks, his frugality, and his unique principles made him the second greatest stock picker of the 20th century. Though he never became a household name, his wisdom and legacy still hold significant value for investors today. As you ponder on the insights gained from this book summary, remember that Davis's long-term approach to investing and his carefully honed investment strategies empowered him to create one of the great Wall Street fortunes.